in my last video I actually mentioned about rebalancing myself but I also forgot to mention that it's my birthday week. I didn't actually catch up with my visual journal or experiment with fresh paint and I was actually late for my previous video because coincidentally I booked a few workshops in advance which intertwines with my monthly goals. Um, I'll share those with you later. First let's talk about the picture book course by The Good Ship Illustration week six. So here's the deal, I am stuck. I'm really really stuck. Um, again I'm not able to tell you the details of the course because of intellectual property but I think it's safe to say week six is based on week five which feels like I need to commit to an idea and start making a book. But the idea that I have feels really big overwhelming. I feel like there's lots of planning to do, research and experimenting, just a lot to think about. But I really love this idea and I, I just want to do it justice. And I realise I've actually put it on a pedestal which is kind of paralysing me right now. And that's because I don't feel confident in my drawing right now. I feel like I'm still in the middle of just trying to find my voice, experimenting and I, I want to feel good about the results but one of my most important lessons I've learned in the last couple of months is I learn best by completing a project. Regardless how crappy the result is, it's about turning up, finishing the task without perfectionism getting in the way. Anyway, I had to go back to the drawing board and see how I can move on from this, like think about the solution. But before we go into that, is anybody else doing Inktober? It's something that I really wanted to take part in for a while, but again, it's something that I have not actually prioritised. Two weeks ago, I saw Creativity and Coffee on YouTube posting a similar feeling that I have. So I reached out to them and asked whether they wanted to be accountability buddies. And surprisingly, they said yes. So this is my like one-to-one -one online meetup with another YouTuber um, who's also into planning and illustrations. So if you're liking what you see over here, uh, check them out. I'll, I'll link the YouTube channel in the description below. So the first week we met up, uh, spoke about Inktober and we agreed that we will draft the thumbnails for the following week. So week two, we met up again and chatted about what we drew. And the third week, which is this week, uh, we've agreed to pencil everything up ready for Inktober next month, uh, which actually starts in the next video. That's technically not cheating, it's in the rules. But I had an unexpected turning, which also is the solution for the picture book course I'm stuck with. Um, it's merging Inktober and the picture book course together. So in my drafts I've actually realised I've got a couple of reoccurring characters in my thumbnails. So I started to think this week like oh I'm so stuck with this picture book like I need to think of a story. I wonder whether I can actually create a story using the Inktober prompt list. Again, not trying to be precious with this. Let's just make a story. Let's just like the thumbnails are kind of created. I think I've got a couple of birds in one stone with that. Inktober challenge, picture book course, a 30 day challenge and experimenting with inks because I'm interested in fine liners and ink in general anyway. So if you want to see how that story turns out you can watch it revealed every day on Instagram. I'll link my Instagram handle down below, it's Spotted Journal. Also if you're doing Inktober let me know, leave a comment down below. I'd love to see what you create every day. In a way I do feel that within itself is creating another uh, holding each other accountable method kind of thing. Other than that, here are the workshops that I did to celebrate my birthday week.
but yeah really hope you have a lovely week and hope to see you in the next one goodbye for now <laughs>